Our next guest says the Democrat-controlled House is just bad news for the market going forward. Look who's back. Ed Collard, Bain Capital former <laughs> managing director. The man we used to see when Governor Romney was running for the presidency. <laughs> then he disappeared when he lost. But welcome back. Well, thanks for having me back. Why don't you spell it out why a Democrat-controlled House is bad news for the stock market? Well, I think you can see that in the stock market. For the two years prior to the president's election, when the Republicans took control of the, uh, of the government, the market was flat. It's risen 40 percent since then to its peak, at the, uh, which, which is shocking because we're eight years into the recovery and it's ri risen 40 percent. Since then, it's lost... Uh, with, with the midterm elections, where the Democrats have retaken control of the House, the market has given up half of its gains. Well, does that, because the Democrats now run the House, does that mean there'll be no more stimulus for the economy? There may even be a tax increase. Is that what you're thinking? Well, I think more, I, I would say this, I think a lot of the damage that they can do is priced into the market. And part of what's priced in is the fact that the Republicans can't, conti can't continue to uh, make adjustments to the economy that they could have been if they had, had control of the Congress. So I think a lot of it is what could have been that's no longer there as opposed to the additional damage the Democrats could inflict. But I think that as 2020 draws closer and closer, the more you think the Democrats are going to take, the more the markets think the Democrats will take control of both Congress and the presidency, I think that will have a negative effect on the stock market, just like it has at this midterm election, and just like the opposite of what happened in the last presidential election. That's very interesting. I need your comment on the 10-year Treasury yield, all the way down to 2.75 percent. Now, what's that telling us? Is that telling us the, mar the economy slows down next year, or is it telling us that there's a ton of money flowing in? into Treasury securities as a safe haven? What's it telling us? Well, I think it's a couple of things. One is people are definitely rotating out of stocks. They have rotated out of stocks. And we're at the end of the year where they're a little bit nervous about the professional manager, so they've probably rotated into bonds. I also think that the bond market is showing us that the Fed was signaling that it's going to slow down its rate increases. You can't expect the Fed to say, oh, we're going to raise it three times. No, it's going to be zero. So you expect them to go from three to two. But I think the market is saying it's probably going to be less than two. Oh, you do? So the, the, the slowdown in, uh, in increases has uh, so sort of foreshadowed. So yesterday afternoon, Jay Powell says it's going to be two rate increases next year, not three. And this morning, you're saying, nah, no rate increases at all. The and market's the, going to keep it down. The, the Fed's an animal. It's gradualism. It can't say three and swing to zero. It has to go three to two, two to one, one to zero. Um, and you so, think that's coming? So I think the signaling from three to two is an indication that they've taken their foot uh, a little bit off the brake. But you wouldn't be a buyer of stocks right now? I wouldn't be a seller of stocks. I don't want to give, I don't get taxed on my, uh, on my gains that I've gotten since the president was elected. Is that your so, problem? You I'm not a seller. the capital gains tax? <laughs> Absolutely. That's a big part of it, for sure. But I'd also say, yeah, it's not like I've taken more money and put it into the market over the last a couple of months, I've been cautious. Okay. What would be your advice for our viewers who have a 401k and who, in January, can say, I want more in stocks or less in stocks, more in bonds or less in bonds? What would be your advice? Well, the average person. Yeah, I think my uh, own uh, uh, mix was up over 70% in stocks prior to the election. It's down now in the mid-60s. I don't think I would bring it down any lower than that because I'm optimistic about the economy in the long run, and I think a lot of the pessimism has already been priced in. So I probably would hold it where it is, and I'd gradually, as the market unfolds, my inclination is always to bring it back up towards 70% because I'm bullish on America in the long run despite all the short-run gyrations that we've seen. And I also think that if you split the market between tech and not tech, not tech hasn't performed well. Uh, the market's pretty much been flat. If you look out over the course of the last 50 years, it's not very often that you see two years of flat market. Sure. So I think uh, there's reason to, uh, to not, to not uh, run for cover here yet. Not run for cover I also think, yet. Okay. <laughs> well, right. I think also the economic indicators are pretty strong still. So the underlying economy, I think, still looks All right. quite strong. Ed Collard, it was good to have you back again. Don't be such a stranger. We'll see you again soon. Okay, great. Thanks, Ed. All right.